Okay, g'day everyone. In this one, I'm going to show you how to do a basic logo reveal in Adobe After Effects. So I'll show you the same thing and a few different ways that you can do it. Uh, this is a nice thing that you might use in a, in a website or at the beginning of a video or something. And I'm going to use a logo, but you can also use text to do this. So first of all, I've just opened After Effects and I'm going to go to Composition and create a new one. Um, now I'm just going to choose this preset down here, high definition TV, 1080 uh, resolution at 25 frames per second and that'll give me the 1920 by 1080 width and height in pixels. So let's click OK there. Um, right, over here I'm going to, actually I'll go to file and I'll go to import and let's import my logo. Now I'm going to use Alison's logo that she created uh, at the beginning of year 11. So thank you very much for letting me use this Alison, although I haven't asked you, but I'm going to use it anyway. So here it comes and it's a beautiful logo that she's created in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, and I'm going to kind of give it some, add some animation to it. So first thing, it's quite big. So I'm just going to Make sure the move tool is selected. I'm going to click, hold and drag and you'll notice that the proportions aren't constraining so as you're still holding your mouse button down just press shift and that'll constrain the proportions. I'm going to make it about that big for this exercise. Okay, now the next thing we'll do is um, I'm going to go to layer and let's create a new shape layer. <coughs> Alright, um, now what we need to do is we need to draw a shape over the top of this um, logo here. So uh, let's just start out with a rectangle tool. Tool, sorry, uh, I'm just going to draw it over just like that. Alright, now what we want to do is we want to go and use the track mat effect or the track mat technique and that what that will do, that will hide the rectangle, uh, uh, that'll make the rectangle disappear and then it'll also make wh whatever um, element is below the rectangle disappear as well. So I'll show you how that works. If you click this button here, toggle switches mode, if you can't see it, you'll find track mat here. Now, select your logo and then you need to click the tab here and go to alpha mat shape layer one because that'll correspond with that shape layer there that we just created click ok all right and now our rectangle disappears now go back to the move tool and then if you move the logo make sure your logo layer is selected watch what happens when it moves outside of the box all right it disappears okay so <clears throat> Let's set this up uh, to animate. What we'll first do is, I want this to be right in the middle of my page. So just go into your Align tab. Um, if you can't see it, go into Window and make sure Align is selected. Uh, choose the horizontal center alignment. That'll put it directly in the middle, horizontally, and the same thing with the vertical center alignment. I'm going to do the same thing with my shape as well, just to make it nice and even in the center. Um, all right, the next thing is, let's select the layer, and we're just going to do some simple keyframing to animate this logo in and out. Now, actually, sorry, I set my composition up. I didn't. I forgot to mention that start till about 10 seconds duration. Yours might be on 30. <coughs> um, you can always go up to what composition settings and change it. All right, 10 seconds is probably good for this. So let's go into transform uh, in our uh, logo layer and let's make sure your playhead is right at the beginning and let's animate the position property by selecting the stopwatch and turning it on. All right, now that it's on, let's make our logo come in from the left and exit out to the right. So let's drag it to start with just off the screen here and what I might do is I might use my line just to make sure it's directly in the center like that and let's go forward say a second all right and uh, click hold and drag the layer or uh, the logo and put it like roughly in the middle so that it reveals it and again let's use these two buttons here like we used before so it's directly in the center and you'll notice a new keyframe is created there so if I move my playhead now back and forth, you can see that the logo moves. Um, also, if you look down here as I move it, this number here will move, and that's the coordinates of the position, all right? So um, After Effects fills in the in-between frames and actually moves it for us, okay? Now, I might put move the playhead up to the three-second mark, 
and I'm going to set another keyframe there. All right, now I haven't moved it or animated it, so nothing's going to happen. So from here to there, I had some movement, and then from this keyframe, the second one to the third one, I haven't moved the position, so it's not going to animate. But I want it to stay there for about two seconds. Um, the next thing we'll do is move the playhead up to the four second mark, and we're going to animate it out. So again, grab it and just move it across till it's all the way out past that shape that we drew on top of it. And again, let's just use these. Whoops. And do that. Let's use no, not that button. Let's just use this button here to align it vertically, and that's pretty much it. All right. Now let's press play. Uh, if you go into preview, you can find the play button, and let's have a look. Comes in, stops, and it goes out. Okay. So that's a really simple, easy way to animate or reveal your logo. Now. The other thing you can do is, a couple other things, if you click on the toggle switch mode again, um, if you click this button here, this will enable motion blur, and you click that to enable it or turn blue, and then also click it on your layer there. And what that will do is, um, you might not see it in this preview, but that'll just give it a bit more of a blur. You actually saw it then as it was rendering. Okay, so that makes it look a little bit more realistic because as things are moving, our eye we'll see some blur. Um, the other thing is you can drag out a marquee, highlight all the keyframes, right click one of them, go to keyframe assistant and go to easy ease and what that will do is that'll change your keyframes there and that'll just make the effect slowly ease into um, to the animation and, and ease out so it doesn't all of a sudden start and again this is just rendering out because I've added an effect on it. Let it render and There you go. Um, now, I'll show you a couple of other things you can do just quickly. Um, let's say, let's delete these. Let's just click the stopwatch and that'll delete all the keyframes. And let's put this, let's go back to our align. And let's put this all the way back into the center. All right, and let's just start again. The other thing you can do is instead of animating the logo, you can keep the logo where it is and you can actually animate the shape. All right, so, um, and it's pretty much the same thing. So if, let's, in your shape layer, let's go into your transform, let's go to position, all right, set a keyframe, and we might go from this side, actually, let's, we read from left to right. So let's do that. Um, let's align it to the vertically as well, so it's straight. And then again, let's do the same thing like we did before. One second, let's move it across, all right, and I'll use my alignments again to keep, should keep it centered. And let's sit it on for two seconds, add a keyframe there, move forward another to four seconds, and let's grab it and drag it out of there. And again, let's use the vertical one and preview it. Okay, so it reveals and then it hides. Um, and again, I could highlight the keyframes and do easy ease and I could also add the motion blur to it but I'm not going to because I want to keep this short but you can play around with that. Um, the other neat thing you can do is this, I will just delete this shape layer and get a new shape layer happening so layer new shape layer and what I'll need to do is let's just get the circle um, actually, I'll just get the rectangles. Get the rectangle for now. All right, let's draw the rectangle out again. What we'll need to do is you'll need to go back to your track mat uh, by clicking the toggle switches, and it's already set to it, but it's you need to kind of untick it and then tick it back so that it works again. Um, get your move tool and let's align again. Now, in the shape properties. In transform, let's anim let's bring the playhead right back and let's um, animate scale. So set that up for animation, and you'll notice I've got 100%. Let's click that and drop that down to 0%, so we can't actually see the rectangle, and that will hide the logo as well. All right, and let's use the same um, time settings we did before. Let's go up to one second, okay, and let's change the scale back up to 100%. And so that we get this kind of different kind of a reveal effect like that. All right, and again, we would go up to the three second mark. I'll do this quickly. Add your keyframe, 
four second mark and let's drop it all the way back to zero so that it animates in and animates out spacebar to play it's on for two seconds and then it animates out okay and again we could add the motion blur and the easy ease as well um you could also use a star tool for this all right you could even use the pen tool to create your own kind of shape um anyway so i hope that wasn't too long i try to keep it short um you guys can go and have a play around with that and see what you can come up with okay thank you